So that's, that, that was my goal starting out. But as it turns out, it's really, really hard to define the scope of that problem. And that's pretty much what this talk is today. It's talking about what does it mean to try and support mobile web? Um, and, and, what, and what exactly does it have to, what, what exactly does it entail? So the three questions I want to answer uh, today, or I wanted to answer, and I will be answering this talk, which is uh, what platforms and browsers are most popular in the mobile space? Um, what browsers are capable of supporting modern scripting? Um, I'll kind of mention what that means. I'll show you examples of definitely what it does not mean. Um, and, I'll, and then additionally, what devices do you have to buy and what simulators do you have to download? Uh, in order to do the testing. So this is hopefully an extremely pragmatic talk. Uh, at the very end, I'm gonna provide you with a list of devices with dollar figures that you have to buy and uh, so that you can get started and go out and tell your boss you have to spend five grand on phones um, and then you can get started. Um, but to get there, uh, we need good data. Because we, need, we have to understand what the popular devices are and what the popular browsers are. Um, unfortunately, uh, typically what you, rec uh, what you recommend as um, a good practice, and, you know, if, you, if you sit down as a, as a company and say, we want to support, what browsers do we need to support? You typically just look at what browsers people are using to try and access you. Um, unfortunately, that's not always the case with mobile. If you've never had a good mobile experience on your website, mobile users probably aren't even trying to go to you. So uh, you kind of have to look at what uh, the larger audience is doing. So the problem is though, is that there aren't really good statistics on mobile browser usage. It's absolutely abysmal. And it's been incredibly frustrating. Um, so far I've only found two somewhat decent sources of information. Uh, StatCounter, uh, they uh, track uh, traffic to websites, they cut, get a couple billion page views a month. Um, their information is pretty good. They track uh, uh, mobile platforms and mobile browsers. And then uh, Gartner, um, they have uh, connections within the industry and they track sales of devices. Um, so that's at least something to go off of as well. Um, another source that's been pretty popular, AdMob releases uh, reports of information they uh, tend to be uh, biased towards uh, iPhone and Android devices. Um, uh, that being said, the reports are generally very informative. Uh, I'd, I'd at least recommend uh, reading them to give you a better picture of what the uh, uh, international audience is like. But that being said, there's, there's very little actual useful information out there. Um, and it very little it just, just leaks out uh, that, that we can use. And because of this, because there's so little information to go off of, and especially, I mean, the, these two sources, uh, Gartner's uh, stack counter, I found after a lot of research that they were actually kind of useful. Uh, but this isn't common knowledge. And because it's not, uh, developers typically only support what they know, which is typically the device they're holding in their hand or in their pocket, which is typically, if you're in the US, an iPhone. Um, which is a huge crime because iPhone market share, uh, globally, which we'll talk more about, is, is not uh, the tops at all. Um, the, a report came out, I think this is from the, the AdMob people, it's kind of hard to read, but the, uh, it shows the interest that developers have in developing four different mobile platforms. Um, and you know, iPhone and iPad are uh, one to three, Android's number two. And then you then kind of have the BlackBerry, Windows Mobile, then a whole bunch down here at the bottom, Symbian, Palm, Migo, Kindle, et cetera. Um, and this, this chart is rather skewed. Um, and it is really unfortunate because the reality is, is quite different. So Stack Hunter, some of the information about platforms that are popular. Uh, the most popular mobile platform uh, is Symbian. Uh, Symbian is the operating system uh, predominantly used on Nokia devices, um, and it is way more popular than uh, iPhone is. It, it sells more, it's growing faster, it's used by more people, uh, and that's undisputed. Uh, 
So uh, at least here you see that something that was popular is Symbian, iPhone, and BlackBerry. Uh, those are uh, the big three, as, uh, especially international. Uh, if you look at the sales, uh, this, so this is Gartner. Uh, this is just recently, this is the first quarter. Uh, Symbian uh, continues to dominate. It sells over twice as many, tw over twice as many Symbian devices are sold every quarter uh, compared to uh, iPhone. It's just not even the, in the same lead. Or it's, it's, more, it's more than twice, it's almost three times as much. And even BlackBerry sells more than iPhone does. So uh, not supporting Symbian devices and not supporting BlackBerry devices when you support iPhone is really rather silly. So the hard question though that isn't answered here is um, what versions of these platforms are popular? So what version of Symbian, what version of iPhone, what version of Android are popular? And that information is not available at all. No one releases that information anywhere. And it's really, really, really frustrating. It's like, it's like saying, it's like if I told you, you have to support Internet Explorer. And you're like, okay, that's great, what version? I'm like, I have no idea, it could be four, IE4, it could be IE9, it could be three, I have no idea. And that, that's literally the, 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 where we are right now. We have no idea what platforms are popular. No one releases this information. So if we start to dig in and look at the browsers that are popular, uh, we see something, again, very different. Uh, it's pretty much the exact opposite of the desktop space. Opera is the most popular mobile browser. By far, no questions asked. Um, so this is, uh, op and, and, and this is another case, again, with, with the fuzzy statistics. So Opera is the most popular, but Opera has two different browsers. They have Opera Mobile and Opera Mini. Which one's the most popular? Uh, there's no information on it. it, it it's, and again, this, people are not, uh, companies are not releasing this information or making it public, um, and it's becoming quite frustrating. So Opera, iPhone, uh, Nokia, Symbian uh, browser, uh, uh, Blackberry, uh, Android, etc. Those are the popular browsers that are used. So again, the, the hard question is that, you know, what versions of those browsers? Because you don't want to have to support five different versions. Um, and because you, you need to keep your sanity somehow. Uh, but again, this information is not available. So you kind of have to make some educated guesses about what people are doing. Um, I should mention that supposedly Yahoo is going to be releasing some uh, statistics. Um, I've heard at least from two different developers at Yahoo that they're working on it to release some data. I have no idea what that entails or if they'll actually release it. Um, I would love to see it, of course. Um, but the problem is that right now, this information, this data on mobile browser usage is a huge trade secret. No one wants to release it because if, if they, like they're using it to build better experiences for more devices. Like if they know, like if Yahoo knows that they're getting a million people coming from this specific version of this specific browser and that if they can make it work, then that's a million users that they can have that Google can't have just a, as a theoretical example. Um, so yeah, it, it's, but a, again, we're kind of like stuck here in the middle because we just want to support, we just want to make our webpage work. Um, and it's really frustrating. So as a general testing strategy, and this pretty much goes the same for desktop development, is that you have to, well, you have to essentially draw a line in the sand. You have to say, all right, on this side, these are all the browsers that are have a decent amount mar a decent amount of market share that have uh, decent level of capabilities that we can support, and then on this side are either they're, they have so little market share that it doesn't matter, or they're so crippled that we just can't possibly support them. And then you have to go through, buy your devices, download your simulators, and do your testing. So at least for drawing a line, I took a lot of inspiration here from. Uh, Yahoo's great browser support. I think what they do uh, is really quite excellent, which is they say that these are all the, the A-grade browsers. They say these are A-grade browsers that we're going to support. And what that means is that they get full, fully tested against and that they uh, get the guaranteed top-level experience. They have a, another C-grade level, which um, uh, it'll fall back to a very crippled experience in that no CSS, no JavaScript. Uh, very stripped down, just tables and stuff. And then uh, everything else sort of goes into 
uh, get kind of just gets the full A experience and just hope it works, sort of.